Hey everybody, it's Jennifer from PopPieGirl.com. Uh, today I want to talk to you about how to add your own eBay affiliate RSS feed to your Squidoo lens. Uh, a lot of you are eBay partner network affiliates and would like to be able to use your own affiliate ID on your Squidoo lenses and I'm going to show you how I do that with RSS feeds. What's really cool about these RSS feeds is that it constantly updates with the latest auctions and it is a very attractive eye catcher for your lens viewers. If this is something that they're looking for, this will be something that they'll be interested in clicking through. The RSS feeds do have your affiliate link in them so you do get credit for any activity that the reader takes on the eBay site. All right, so let's get started. First thing you want to do is move the screen around. You want to come into your eBay Partner Network account and I want you to click Tools. It's right up here at the top. Then I want you to click Widgets. You can click it here or you can click it down here. So we click Widgets and then you can see that there is a little RSS icon here for the RSS feed generator. Let's click that. And now you need to fill in the blanks. Select a program. I am eBay US. I am going to make a feed for about Mickey Mouse watches. So we'll call this campaign Mickey Mouse. I already have it set up. I encourage you to set up a separate campaign for each of your topics or lenses. It helps you isolate where sales come from. You can click this create new campaign here if you want to click create a new one. Uh, if this doesn't work, which sometimes it doesn't, come up here to campaigns and create your new campaign first. Uh, custom ID, I don't know if you still need this or not. When EPN first started, they needed this for the feed, so I'll just say Mickey Mouse Watch, just to call it something and fill in the blanks just in case it's still really important. Uh, then we're going to come on down. I am looking for Mickey Mouse Watches. Mickey Mouse Watch. Uh, sometimes you need to isolate it better by category ID. You can click this and it'll help you if you don't like the way your feed looks. I also like to use this advanced search tab. You just click that right there. Come on down. You can isolate the feed to be just about anything if you want a certain price range or you want to exclude search terms like watch band. Um, but I like to do this sort by and I like to do items ending first. That means the things that are about to end, usually the most popular ones. Um, if you want to say newest listed Mickey Mouse watches, then you could sort it by most recent. Uh, that's all I change here. Close that back up. And then I click this button right here, Generate RSS Feed. It's going to give you a preview of your feed, what it's going to look like. And all you're going to do is come up here click in the box, right click because we want to copy this. Come on down, choose copy. Now we head on over to our lens. In your RSS module, you're going to open it up to edit, uh, give it a title, you need to give it a description because remember Google cannot read RSS feeds so you need to give them a little help, tell them what you got going on there. What URL? This is simple, this is where you're going to click in this field, right click, and we're just going to paste it in there. Then you choose how many headlines, say I want, I don't know, five. This part's important, so listen up. You want to choose here, everything available. Me, for how often to update the RSS feed, I like to choose 30 minutes because auctions move quickly towards the end and I like them to be most current for the reader, so I choose 30 minutes and then choose yes to show HTML. That is very important, get your links to work. That's all there is to it, click save and you have an eBay affiliate RSS feed on your lens now. That's all there is to it. It's Jennifer from poppiegirl.com. I hope that helps y'all out, can be very profitable and a great asset to the readers of your lens. Y'all have a great day.